Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisors channel. Here at our channel, we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. Today, we will talk about Azure Power Global traded at New York Stock Exchange, ticker name AzureIE. Well, Azure Power is um, actually declining already like uh, more than one week. And uh, today, it did form uh, a candle that might be either a, f a flying dragon or actually a piercer, depending on how you look at it. And looks like it's more a piercer because we see here um, a support level that it is trying to pierce. But tomorrow action will show us what kind of candle it is. Uh, is it really like a reversive one or is it still a piercer? And should it be a piercer and price go down, then it will open some interesting buy opportunities here. So let's understand those um, and do a quick analysis for Azure Power. We can see here a very nice upward trend that was ongoing already uh, actually uh, three months. Uh, let's call it T1. And this trend was actually um, moving average 20 using a uh, following moving average 20 using it as a support line with several waves and then the confirmations many times and what we see now the latest wave that uh, reached its maximum somewhere in the um, 5 6 of october uh, and actually reconfirmed the previous maximum so for for this way kind of a top ceiling was uh, strongly declined went all the way down with some volatility fluctuations at T1 level to the moving average 50, uh, then rebounds to moving average 20 and started going further down. And this is also interesting because it seems like we have a downwards uh, channel formed starting from the top of this wave and um, also followed by moving average 20. So it's this one and let's call it then uh, R1 and R2. And with this, uh, if you take all this into consideration, the question is what, what candle was formed today? Well, it might be temporarily bullish tomorrow, so it might make a spike until the moving average 20, uh, sorry, 50, this blue line. By the way, we have three moving averages here depicted as moving average 20, 50, and 200 being blue, uh, the green, blue, and red lines correspondingly here on the left, you see their depictions. So coming back to the analysis, tomorrow we might have a positive upwards jump, but uh, if you're already in position, you can wait for it. But in general, even after the jump, a more correction is, is, is expected here since again, we will actually, even if we jump, we retest the double resist here, moving average 20, this way uh, 50, sorry, will work as a resist and also R2 line. And then we will need to seek a further deeper and stronger actually uh, support lines here and then if we look at those uh, these are at the level of about 22 then next one will be at the level of uh, around 20 plus and further on at the level of about 19 actually uh, yeah, there is also another one you can see here. It's uh, too low, but just let's depict it. It's about 17. And with these with these lines, uh, you can now see that actually it's quite nicely um, yeah, a shallow-nated defense, if you can call it like that. And also, uh, yeah, we can expect some entry points here. And the, after S1 line, it's called S1, the next support line is quite low, so it's almost 15% low, it's S2, and then we see well densely formed support lines S3, S4, and S5. And with this, actually, um, you can already think that the first entry opportunity would be wise to do at S2, S3 channel, and the reason for that is also that we here uh, have uh, downwards start forming here in this circle downwards forming uh, bottom of of the channel r2 uh, r3 let's call it and with this of course it's clear that the first entry or the first bottom of the channel would be met somewhere between s2 s3 uh, lines support lines and then the rebounds should take place also some volatility of course possible already at the s2 if price will go immediately down uh, this would be seen by the price action starting from the after tomorrow. But in general, uh, the first circle of, of entry is here. Should the price fade even a little bit further, then which is less probable, but still, uh, then the entry point will start just 
at the R3 um, S5 levels. This would be the second entry point, but most probably we will just rebound from the first circle. And again, it's advised here to buy with one to two average strategy, meaning you buy with one portion first circle and with two portions in the second one. Uh, we often get the questions like, well, you always discuss two deep defense lines and sometimes or often price actually is not going that low. Yes, this is true because our strategy is to, to look at all possible defense, look all possible technicality uh, and then to know where to enter first. And we always try to play over safe because our approach is that even if out of 10 of the stocks, five or seven will will work as predicted then yes you make your profit but if other five won't work you just don't lose your money so our theory is let's uh, lose an opportunity rather than money so we go always very safe and if the chance is there if it plays then it plays well and safe uh, also another parameter speaking of downwards movement here for azure power that supports this technicality is the fact that its moving averages are starting to uh, decelerate. So moving average 20, the green line is already forming shape like this. So it's flattening and trying to go down. Moving average 50 is still going upwards, but it is decelerating, meaning that its uh, second derivative is negative. And the same is true for moving average 200 is decelerating. So it's still going up, but moving average uh, 200 second derivative is also negative, meaning like it's trying to bend down. And this bending effect is usually a signal for a stronger um, correction, especially when moving average 20 is going to downwards movement because it creates a possible risk to make a magic cross down later when it will cross from the top moving average 50 here. And uh, preparing for this action, uh, of course, the price either waits for the magic cross and then goes down or already goes down before we have this cross. And uh, if it goes down before, then the cross will work as temporarily bullish. If it goes down together with it, it will just be a very bearish uh, signal and everything will go down with the magic cross down. Also, if you look at MACD here, although you see that negative wave is forming, it's still quite flat, not finished yet. Probably will take longer time to uh, cross upwards. So we will still experience some stronger corrections here and therefore it's advised to wait really for S2, S3 channel entry if it comes and then only then to enter for Azure Power Global. With this, this is all for Azure Power Global for, for today's chart analysis. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also watch other videos where you will get insights for another US-based stocks and interesting entry opportunity.